Hey everyone, so I have been on a summer break for the past two weeks and that's my summer break. It really sucks. But regardless, I have been reading Stephen King's Bag of Bones for a really long time and I have finally finished reading this book. And I mean, it's probably taken me a good two months. And I started getting to the point where I was super frustrated and wanted to give up, but a, I wanted to read it because it was Stephen King and that was my first Stephen King novel that I had ever read and because I'd already started the book and I decided I had to finish it because you can't start something and just quit it midway, right? But this is just a short video with a review of how I felt about Bag of Bones by Stephen King. So first off, I believe that Stephen King is a beautiful writer and I guess I digress. That was the first novel I had read by Stephen King, but I've also read Stephen King's own writing. And after I read that, I got the sense that he was very to the point, like don't waste your words, kind of get with it kind of thing. But okay, so the thing I don't like, first off, is the fact that I feel he was dragging on and on and on for the first 200 pages. Now mind you, everything that he puts within his book has a point and he has so many different things that he connects and you don't even realize everything's connected until the very end so all of it had a point but when you're going through the first 200 pages it is a drag and I dragged through the first 200 pages and that's when I wanted to give up but again I knew Stephen King was a great writer everyone knows and says he's a great writer so I knew I had to stick it out and I'm glad I did to the 525th page or whatever it was Alright, so that's what I disliked about it was how lengthy it was, and I felt that he could have cut the first 200 pages, but again, I feel that maybe it was necessary. The other thing that I did like about Stephen King's Bag of Bones was the characterization. So he did a fantastic job with his characters. He did not make anything what it shouldn't have been. So within the context of the book, you have characters who are not good people, and he does not let you think that they're good people. He describes in full detail the things that they have done that are bad. And when you're reading it, I almost got uncomfortable because he is very detailed and vivid. He does not bullshit around. He does not pretend, hey, let's kind of soften the scene. No. No. You want to see something gory, he will tell you what is gory. He will tell you what's going on in every bit of it. The screaming, the... you get the point. So some of that people might have to skim through if you're kind of squeamish. Didn't bother me. I was kind of impressed with how detailed he was and I was like, wow, that's kind of insane. So I really enjoyed that. And I like that the whole story is kind of shrouded in mystery and it's, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on and trying to guess what was going to happen and tie in loose sense by myself. But just a word of advice, you cannot. With Stephen King, like no matter what you think you know, you don't know. He is going to throw you for a loop and I love that about him because there were things I hadn't even considered or put together that he had obviously thought out, he had it all figured out. And he uses the mystery, he uses one specific character, and that character is the source of mystery. That character is the one who has figured everything out, and you know that this character knows everything, but this character is no longer alive. So it makes things 100% more difficult because you're along with the main character in the living world trying to figure out what's going on in the afterlife and what these people are trying to tell you and I just it was really brilliantly put because you are with him 100% of the way you understand nothing you understand as much as this guy does and there are points where you're like why is he still in this house like why is he still pursuing this journey but you understand like it's more than just that there's a reason why he's continuing on and doing the things that he's doing and it's really great. So I love the way that Stephen King made everything be shrouded in mystery. He made it where you can't figure things out. They're not predictable by any means and he made the characters very real. He made them what they needed to be within the context of the story. But the thing I did not like was that it took me 200 pages, maybe 300 before I was like, I've got to finish this book. Like, it's is really good. It took me about 200 pages to get to that point. So. If you're going to read this book and you don't have much time, you could feel free to kind of skim over the first 200, maybe first 300, because I think it was like page 330 when I actually became absorbed into the book. Now, I do love this book, but because of how lengthy it was and how I had to drag through the book, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 stars. And that's it. So that's my short video for the week, just a quick review on how I felt about Stephen King's Bag of Bones. And I know everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and no one's probably going to think the same things I do, and that's fine. 
and hopefully I'll be doing more reviews as I continue reading. And right now I'm reading The Great Lenore, and I'm excited because it's really good too so far. So, and it's short. That's important. Short. When you're in grad school, you don't have time for long books. But until next time.